Hello everyone, this is Sharun here from 24-7 Techie and this is the Mizu M3 Node. It's launched in India and for a very good price. So the 3 gig RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage is available for 10,000 Indian rupees only and it is a damn good price. So this is the back side of the phone as we can see it is a metallic unibody design and uh, the top part and the lower part of the phone is plastic. So this is the bottom up part of the phone and we see two grills over here and micro USB 2.0 port. Uh, one of them is microphone and one of them is speaker so button configuration at the right of the phone the volume rockers and the power button so this is the back and it does looks good and um, the uh, 3.5 mm headphone jack and the secondary noise cancelling microphone at the top so no ir blaster and uh, the, uh, the sim card slot is at the left of the phone so as you can see this is the sim card uh, slot of the phone and uh, the second sim card uh, is a hybrid sim card slot so we can also have a micro uh, micro sd card or a uh, sim card so for 10,032 gigs i do think so you, you won't be really needing it and uh, this is the new app drawer uh, the, actually the recent task drawer so it looks very good so this is the 2.5d glass so you can see that uh, it's really looking very good the 2.5d arc all over the phone it really good looks good feels good but nothing else it's not usable uh, so we cannot use it or extra functionality but it does uh, looks good for sure so as you can see the uh, settings has been added in the notification drawer so i had a major complaint with mizu regarding not having a settings button in the uh, notification drawer so this time they've added so it's running on uh, flyme os 5.0 and uh, with android 5.1 and uh, marshmallow update no announcement and um, it will uh, the storage was uh, the, we had a 16 gigs model and uh, the 32 gigs was not available and uh, there were a lot of uh, install apps already so i cannot really tell how much storage was available and this is the fingerprint setup it does takes a little bit of extra time but uh, it should work uh, and it's working so it is a home uh, button press so it's not uh, just a fingerprint uh, uh, fingerprint sensor tab so you have to uh, press the home button and it will uh, the fingerprint uh, sensor will also work and the it was working all over uh, so 360 and you can adjust the color temperature in your uh, phone as well so nice and uh, if we come into the camera so both uh, so we have a 30 megapixel back camera and a 5 megapixel front camera and um, as we can see we have auto manual video everything manual so some uh, things can be configured and in the video point of view we'll go into the settings and look how much is the video resolution so both the phones record at 1080p and uh, this is the new app drawer i am really liking it uh, the way you have to take it out and long press on a app uh, and it will get logged and this is the multi window so that is also a nice thing that they've added not very bulky but uh, looks good and works also but only uh, available for some apps not for all So as this phone was having 2 gigs of RAM, so we are into the CPU-Z app and as we can see it is powered by this, uh, uh, Helio P10 not the X10 and um, in the device point of view we have 16 gigs and 2 gigs of uh, memories and uh, system we can as you can see the each and everything in front of your screen and the battery is huge 4100 mAh battery and uh, the thermal and uh, as we can see in the sensors point of view we do have a lot of sensors so no skipping on sensors and another major thing that i notice is that gyroscope is present so that is nice uh, so all your google cardboard and vr will work if uh, uh, gyroscope is there so gyroscope is there and now we'll uh, go into the entry to benchmark and let's uh, put it in high performance mode so that we do get a uh, good uh, scores hopefully and i've skipped most of the video as you can see at the right top of the video and uh, these are the mizu headphones i will i am making a dedicated video for this so do check it out by the way spoiler alert the headphones sounded really amazing So the score is 43,700 which is a little bit of a disappointment 
because most of the phones in this price bracket as well are scoring over 40 uh, over 50 55000 and this phone is scoring about 43000 we can take uh, 5000 up and down but um, it's okay but we have to test it out more to uh, definite the performance of the phone and um, the phone didn't get uh, warm at all so the temperatures were kept in charge and uh, another thing is that uh, it was a 16 gigs model and 2 gigs ram so uh, the indian variant will be 32 and 3 gigs we'll have to test it out and otg functionality is working so that is a good thing and um, this is a new thing that they've added so arrange icons so this is similar to what xiaomi has done and other oems are also doing with this software so moving apps uh, is easier so just uh, pick these up and the animations also looks good so and there were no lag nothing in the animations as well and keep it over here and everything is working so that is a pretty nicely job done so thank you very much guys for watching this video this was Sharon here from 24 7 techie with the hands-on impressions of the Mizu M3 Note so far impressive but we will be buying it do like this video share this video and do hit the subscribe button it helps us a lot and I really hope to see you in my next video so far so good this phone we will be buying it for a full in-depth review so do stay tuned